Well, now that I've started speaking, I just can't hold myself back. I have some true beliefs about my aunt that I thought everybody would be interested in. Under the freedom of speech, I'm allowed to say what I feel. I believe that my aunt is a narcissistic manipulator. I believe that she only cares about herself. I believe she that to the point that she allowed her children to be sexually assaulted just so she wouldn't have to be alone. She ran through so many men in the 80s and 90s before landing the one that I guess recently left her. That to me shows that she only ever cared about her having a man and having what she needed no matter whether her children were cared for or not they didn't matter to her I believe that she changed my grandmother's will to write me out of it at the last minute while my grandmother was dying in the hospital I believe that that's why she asked or uh, got the paperwork to sign herself over as the caregiver for my grandmother so she could have like a uh, power of attorney saying that my grandmother is not fit right now she's the caretaker and she's going to make these changes I believe that if people looked into the will and the changes that were made to it the changes would have been made just a week before my grandmother passed away which would have been illegal because there are laws about changing a will just before a person dies they have to be in a certain mindset they have to be able to do certain things and when you're that close to death it's very hard to have that mindset so I believe that if they looked into the will and they I found out when the paper or the final paperwork to get rid of it because Kathy will tell you well you used to get everything and then they changed the will well I bet you anything that that will change came while my grandmother was dying in the hospital and it came at Kathy's discretion and not my grandmother's that's what I believe and it's what I have believed from the beginning Kathy is involved in the will situation and I can't speak out further about that because I don't know any more details. I remember one day in the hospital, she was talking to the doctor and she had all this paperwork and she wrote herself out as the caregiver. I saw it on the paperwork and I said, why are you putting down that you're her caregiver? You're not her caregiver, Kathy. I am. And she snapped at me and she said, that doesn't mean anything. It just means that I wipe her ass. And I said, but you're not doing that either. She's in a hospital. There's doctors and nurses here to do that. She wanted it to make it look like she was dutifully caring for her mother. But what she really needed was the rights to change the will that left me, the one who was actually living there and taking care of her. She wanted me left homeless, and that's what she got. And, and then she needed more because she's narcissistic and abusive, and she needed to be able to continue hurting me. That's where the cyber cults come in. And they played right into it because they were so hateful. And it's what they do. So they did just what she wanted. They spread her lies about me. They demonized me. They loved her. But now if you go back and you watch her videos, you can hear how evil and cruel she is. That's because she is evil evil she is cruel she is heartless she only cares about herself if her children are watching this I hope that they know their mother only cares about herself and about money and she would throw y'all under the bus just as quickly if you think back to the men that touched you as children because she wasn't around you'll know that's true and don't tell me that didn't happen because if you don't remember it I'm sorry but Angela told me so I know and you can't go back and take the words away from your dead child let's talk about Angela for a second did Kathy tell y'all that she insisted Angela stay in an abusive marriage everybody knew Estes was abusive everybody knew Estes was abusive I knew and I barely communicated with that side of the family 
Angela had a runaway bag at Meemaw's. Back in the back of Meemaw's closet was a bag of Angela's clothes, so that when she finally escaped Dusty's, she knew that she had a place that she could go, her grandmother's. She just didn't get to escape, did she? How many times did Angela come to you, Kathy? How many times did you tell her to go back to him? To make it work? He's your husband. You can't leave him. You have children. You can't leave him. You have to just... You made the choice, didn't you? You chose to marry that man, and now you're going to come to me whining about it. No. Go back home to your abusive husband and your children. And then when I find you dead at his hand, I'll have something I can cry and get pity for. People will care about Kathy. Poor, poor Kathy. Make sure you don't tell anybody how many times you pressured your child to stay with an abuser. I know you did. Because that's how this family works. Meemaw pressured my mom to stay with the abuser. It's a mindset that you get into that you still hold, I know, because you're constantly saying that my mother made her choices. She deserves what happened to her. You're never going to acknowledge the abuser that my father was because my mother made that choice. And you have made the choice to be a narcissistic bitch. And you run everybody away. I see how you're alone in most of your videos and you can say well I'm just I go see the family but I'm not on video but I bet you don't I bet you sit in your house alone because your family doesn't want anything to do with you because they know who you are your children have grown up and they can see you and you don't want to be seen that's the worst thing in the world for a bitch like you but these are just things that I believe, thoughts, ideas, things that I've been thinking about my wonderful aunt for a long time and never really had the nerve to say because freedom of speech and slander and all, but they've never cared about what they said about me. So I'm not going to hold back about how I feel about them. And if they don't like it, if they have a problem with it, they can always take me to court. I mean, as long as you're not afraid of having to defend your own actions towards me, right? You got plenty of money. You said multiple times you could sue me. It just wouldn't be worth it. What do I have to say to make it worth it? Because I'll say it. And I have the right to. Y'all have insisted upon that.